This is the Cessna Sky Courier utility turboprop. Today we're going to walk around the exterior and show locations of interest to line service personnel or those interested in the general arrangement. I'm Kim Burton and this is Luke Leiby. We're here from your Textron Aviation customer support team. Before we begin, I'd like to remind you that this video is for reference only and it does not contain instructions for continued airworthiness. For approved procedures and recommendations, please reference technical publications provided by Textron Aviation or other applicable vendors. Here are some basic specifications of the Cessna Sky Courier. The Sky Courier has a max gross takeoff weight of 19,000 pounds. It's equipped with two PT6A 65SC 1100 horsepower engines. It has two four-blade Macaulay aluminum propellers. The cabin is non-pressurized and has a flat floor. The Sky Courier is equipped with Garmin G1000 NXI avionics. It has a wingspan of 72 feet, a length of 55 feet, and a height of 21 feet. The Cessna Sky Courier is a fixed gear aircraft. The nose wheel has 90 degrees of left-right travel, as long as it's towed within the limits that are indicated on this placard. Here is the tow bar hookup location. The tow bar is a Tron Air unit common to other Cessna citations. And this is the forward jack point location. Here at the right hand nose of the aircraft is the nose access bay. There are four latches that you need to unlatch. Inside you'll find access to the main ship battery. This can be a lead acid or NICAT. Just aft of the nose bay is the hydraulic reservoir. The aircraft is serviced with hydraulic fluid 87257. Just aft of it is the AOA probe. As you'll notice, there's no windshield wipers on this aircraft. The aircraft utilizes a surface seal coating on the windscreen. Here at the right-hand crew door, you open the door by pressing this in and pulling the handle out and rotating down. You'll need to stow the handle after opening. Once the door is open, it's held in place with this over-travel stop. And the stairs will fold down in two sections. On the forward and aft side of the cabin door are handholds for climbing in and out of the aircraft. To close the door, fold the step up, break the over-travel, and shut. Here at the right-hand main gear, we have the wow switch or squat switch. This swing down door provides access to the right-hand jack point location. And to my right here is the pedo drains. Oil access is on the left side of the engine. Because I'm on the right side, the panel is inboard. The primary method to check the oil level is in the cockpit on the G1000 displays. The panel for single point refueling is under the right side engine. There is also a grounding point located in this panel. To sump fuel, you'll be able to reach the fuel sump drains by standing on the sponson. The drains are located underneath the wing root. We're with the cargo version of the Sky Courier today. If we were at a passenger version, there would be windows and two emergency exits on the right side. There is one emergency exit on the left side. Here at the tail of the airplane, there is rear bay access, a point for the tail stand, and a tie down point for mooring the airplane. Here at the aft end of the aircraft on the left hand side is the cargo door. To open, press in and pull the handle down. As the door opens, the rope will fall out so the door can be shut. Here at the cargo door opening, the width of the cargo door is 87 inches. The height is 69. On the aft side of the cargo door, just inside the door, is the tail stand location. It's part of loose equipment with the aircraft. On the forward side, just forward of the door, is the light switch for the cabin lights. Here on the left side nose of the aircraft is the GPU access door. The door is spring-loaded. There are no latches to keep it stowed. Spring tension holds it closed. The left-hand nose door opens up again with the four latches. Inside you'll find the oxygen fill access. One gauge indicates one O2 bottle, two gauges indicate two O2 bottles. On the aft side of this uh, door opening 
are two light switches. The top light switch is the switch for the baggage lighting. The lower switch is the ground ops light. This ops light turns on navigation lights, the cargo handling lights, which are loading access lights for the cargo entry, and the cabin interior lights. All of that will be powered on, whether the battery is off or on, as long as there's GPU power. Thank you again for joining us. I hope you enjoyed our overview of the Cessna Sky Courier. If you have more questions, email Team Turboprop at txtav.com.